video editing can be overwhelming. In fact, you can spend hours only to find you've edited just the first few minutes of your video. But what if there was an easier way? What if you could get straight in, even if you've never edited a video before in your life? Let's dive in. Hi, I'm Mike Russell, and I've been teaching audio and video editing for a good part of the last two decades. In fact, the last couple of years, it's become easier than ever to create great quality content online. And the tool you need to start recording and editing your videos is Riverside. Use the link down below to sign up for your free account. You get two hours of audio and video tracks for free, which makes it a great way to experiment with the platform. And when you're ready to commit, it's around 30 bucks a month, and that will get you 15 hours of recording and editing time. Once you have an account, the process is super simple. Whether you're looking to just record yourself or you and a guest, it's all possible. In fact, all you have to do is create a new recording in your Riverside account. To start with, you'll get some basic settings and you can join the studio. This is where you'll film your video and later on, you'll also edit it. Now you'll see over here, we get options for every participant. If you have guests and you can add them with a quick link, they don't even need to have Riverside or be signed up. They can join you. You can see I can choose the video camera that I'm using. I can choose the microphone. In my case, I'm using a Rodecaster and you can choose where you hear the audio back. Again, for me, it's through the Rodecaster. So, when you're ready and you're all set, you just hit the record button. It's going to count you down for three, two, one. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and I'm doing a test recording to show you how easy it is to make high quality videos and edit them using the Riverside editor. In this video, you're going to learn not only about recording your show, but also how to edit in post, whether that's with text based editing or with an audio and video waveform. And when you're finished, you hit stop. Now you're going to see a percentage count up here and it's ready to go. And that's it. That's how easy it was to start recording your content. Once you recorded, you simply go back into your projects area and you hit edit. You will immediately notice the entire editing can be done by editing text on the screen. So see here, I can play this back. I'm doing a test recording to show you how easy it is to make high quality videos and edit them using the Riverside editor. In this video, Okay, say I want to cut some of that audio out, like this line here, and edit them using the Riverside Editor. Just highlight and delete, and now high quality videos. In this video, you're going to learn... Okay, now you'll notice I did make that cut, and it worked perfectly, but there was a bit too much of a pause, so it's not quite perfect. Well, this is where the Timeline Editor actually comes into play, and I can actually roll my playhead back. I can zoom in using the zoom controls here and we'll see this is just a little bit off so I can actually grab the handle here and drag it out a little bit and maybe grab the handle here and drag that edit out now. So now we should get a seamless edit to make high quality videos. In this video, you're going to learn much, much better. One more time to make high quality videos. In this video, you're going to learn not only about recording your show. I really like the text based editing over here combined with editing in the timeline, just like a normal editor. If you're used to working with audio and video, this will be familiar to you. But if not, it's very easy to see the waveform that represents the speech and trim to your heart's content. And here's another cool feature. If I said something incorrect, like here, I said the word high, but actually I wanted to say top quality videos. No worries. This is video dub here. And what a cool feature it is. I'll click it. And now I need to confirm to say I consent to media usage for this. That's not a problem. And now I can type something new. So I'll type top instead of high and click generate. You're not going to believe what this feature does. You'll notice it's dubbing that word from high to top. It's actually highlighted the word in the waveform that it's editing and it's done. Let's play back recording to show you how easy it is to make top quality videos and one more time, how easy it is to make top quality videos. So there it is. No more messy edits. No more having to fiddle around with waveforms, unless you want to, of course. And you can just edit using the text on your screen, which let's face it, everyone can do. Now, if your recording didn't sound so good like this one. This is the human level of thinking. It's not a problem because we now have AI tools in Riverside that can fix it for us. Magic audio is available to be applied and I'll apply it to our speaking guest here and make sure the setting is on high. And now we'll play this again. This is the human level of thinking. 
and we've suddenly gone from a lot of background noise recorded on an internal microphone in a room with a lot of echo. This is the human level of thinking to absolute studio quality audio again let's remind ourselves if we go into the ai tool here and we switch off magic audio let's listen one more time this is the human level of thinking pretty incredible difference if we actually want to click down here to expand the tracks we can select our guest speaker right here and we can go into the track settings right here we now have the ability to do even more in addition to magic audio we can actually go ahead and add some eq drop down the eq settings and we can look for a preset bass boost gives a nice bit of depth and richness to the voice let's play this is the human level of thinking so there you go, even more bass and warmth added to the voice in just one click. Now let's scrub to the very start of our video and play. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the greatest love of all podcasts. Okay, this is great, but wouldn't it be fantastic if we actually had some intro music? And the best thing is we have the ability to do that down here by clicking add music. When we do that, you'll see there are hundreds of high quality tracks included in your Riverside subscription. You can choose one and add it to the project. Let's preview a few here. Little too lighthearted. Ooh. So this one here seems pretty good. I can hit the plus icon on it. It will immediately add to my track here. I can move it up here and let's play back from the start. Hello, hello, and welcome back. If you're finding this intro music too loud, select the track, go here to the volume and effects, and this is where you can easily fade the volume of the track down. You can also add a slight fade in and even a fade out, which can be handy if it's an intro. Let's play. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the greatest love of all podcasts. So that's working really well. And then what we can see here is our fade at the end. As it fades down, we see that curve at the end. I can even trim this to end right here at the end of the intro, and you'll see this nicely fades out. Joined by Ingvar, hello. Hello again. And then you'll hear the music gradually starts to fade out. One of the coolest things about this web-based video editor, having all the captions transcribed for us, is it's so easy to add captions to our video with just one click. Look at this. We get different styles, and when we hover, we can actually see how these captions will appear. And we just pick whichever is our favorite, click it, immediately added here to the screen. Let's actually play back now and watch how these captions look. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the greatest love of all podcast. Today, we are diving into karma. If you're looking for quick B-roll, that's also taken care of. Riverside has a vast library of hundreds of audio clips. I can type in something like candles, and you'll see immediately we've got a bunch of candles we can insert. I can just click this one, and it's immediately on my screen. I can move it around. I can also resize it to fit over the screen at the point that I want to use the B-roll. And if I can't find anything suitable, I can go back into the videos tab over here and look at this. You have the ability to generate your AI B-roll. So say I want the yin yang symbol rotating. I can do that. I can also generate it with some audio if I'd like that, but I don't have to. And I can choose from VO3 or Pika 2.2 two excellent video generation models. Let's generate this with VO3. I'll click the generate button and now we'll wait for the AI B-roll. And here we go. We're at 100%. So our yin yang symbol is right there. That's absolutely amazing. Just what I'm looking for. And you'll see when I clicked it, it's inserted onto another video track here. Now I can actually go ahead and drag this and maybe even trim it in. And we'll play back the intro again from the start with our AI B-roll and our stock B-roll. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the greatest love of all podcast. Today, we are diving into karma. Now, is it there to punish us? Absolutely fantastic. AI-generated B-roll and some fantastic stock footage added to my timeline with ease. No editing or trimming or moving around. It's all done for you. And the best thing is, when you've finished your editing and mixing, you can go to Co-Creator and you can ask it to make a thumbnail for this video. It will immediately swing into action. And here we go. Look at this absolutely amazing thumbnails with guest speakers there and a fantastic and very appropriate text overlay as well. Looking absolutely fantastic. All done with one single prompt. And you're done.
That's it. Now you're ready to export and you can simply do that by clicking the export button up here in the top right. We can choose the quality of the video. We can choose to balance out the audio levels and remove any background noise. And it's a one click export here. We can also grab the audio from our video in high quality wave or MP3. And we can grab the timeline if we want to bring it into another video editor. And of course, over here in the text-based editor, if we want to, we can click the three-dot menu, download the transcript and subtitles for uploading later on. Now, once you've exported your file, head into the Made For You section. This is really cool. Riverside does a few extra touches here that are meant to really save you time. First of all, you've got show notes for your podcast, all here nice and clean and condensed, perfect for uploading, including these beautifully created chapters for your video. But don't forget your handy co-creator is still with you and you can actually ask it things like make a blog post from this. You can see it's retrieved the transcript and it's actually creating a full blog post from the podcast episode that you can publish to your blog. This is really cool, really comprehensive and all done with a single prompt. And if we scroll down, Riverside has made some magic clips here rating how likely they are to go viral. These are really easy to one click share. They're up to one minute long in duration. You can put them out on YouTube shorts. You can publish them to Instagram, X, TikTok, wherever you like. Or if you prefer, just download them. So there you go. If you're looking to get into video editing, Riverside is an absolute 10 out of 10 tool for you. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below, by the way, what's your biggest pain when it comes to video editing? I'll try and help you out in future videos. If you haven't done so already, hit subscribe on this channel. I'm here weekly with useful content to help creators just like yourself. A like would also be appreciated. And YouTube is showing a video on your screen now. You should watch next. Thanks.